my UK experience was significant in two ways. First, mainly on the professional, and then the other in terms of relationships built. The award impacted me significantly. And what I will say is that by the time I came back, what happened was that I was already in the government service, in the management cadre. The Environment Ministry in Nigeria was setting up an enforcement app. And going to the uh, UK Environment Agency to work in that three months, it was a three months fellowship, helped me when by the time we came, I came back to make a difference. The department I studied in uh, Oxford had history behind it. Uh, Professor Hans Krebs of Krebs Cycle, who was a Nobel Prize winner, was the head of, head of the department uh, prior to my own supervisor who came from Cambridge, Professor P.J. Sir P.J. Randall. He also invented something in my field which we call the fatty acid cycle. And uh, this experience was actually a great one for me to have been in contact with people who have actually impacted on the development of my field of study. The memorable experience I had was meeting with the Queen of England. I was also fortunate to have the supervisor who was knighted by the Queen of England while I was there with the knighthood of the British Empire. To be able to have that type of exposure gave me confidence later in life that I believe I've had the best I can have in that field. And uh, the, uh, the moment later I arrived in Nigeria, because I was working at the Lagos State, as the Lagos University Teaching Hospital, I got promoted immediately to the next level. I have been a consultant also to the Minister of Health Lagos State on the issue of Ebola. I was in the research group when the outbreak came up, and we are looking at the genetic factor in survival of Ebola. I'm heading the, true, the team that is doing that right now. The one interesting thing that happened whilst I was here at the University of Exeter I was the visit of the Queen. It was a real privilege to meet her with my family who had joined me in 1993. We, many of us will remember that we have the London 2012 Olympics in the UK and I was invited to be one of the torchbearers. I share my experience here. I think one of the greatest achievements, as far as I'm concerned, is the fact that the award has enabled me to give something back to Africa. In, 19, in 2007, I registered a, a charity, Book Aid for Africa, and we have been shipping books to Nigeria and to different parts of Africa, and uh, the, these books have been helping to make a difference. Right now, I'm an education and training consultant. I am trying to introduce innovation in teaching and learning not only in the UK, but also in Nigeria.
normally in Nigeria and why I've worked I've been in the system, when you go out or you want to looking out for an officer, the story is not on seat or has stepped out. By the time I came back, I came and told them the story that nobody is, there's no story like not on seat. There's nothing like stepped out. You work for the money and your salary. And then the work ethics is such that you are there to work. And if you can't think of anything to do, just sit down there and think. There's no room for chatting and flooring around and just wasting time. Well, another impact the award gave to me was that it gave me courage to be able to start an environmental consultancy services. The award is very significant to me, especially in securing a job uh, at the Center for Public Policy Alternatives. It's a non-governmental organization. Center for Public Policy Alternatives is a think tank. Uh, what we do is public policy research to advise governments on their policy, and then it's a kind of avenue whereby we are able to provide solutions to social problems and to advise government on what they need to do. advice for you is that you should be focused in your area of interest. That means what you want to be should be clear in your mind and that is what you should work towards. There will be some distraction in terms of trying to make quick money. You have to make some kind of sacrifice to forgo that aspect and study hard, achieve what you need to achieve and everything will fall in line. Well, my advice for those that are coming back is to be open-minded. When I first got there in the UK, they said something. In the Environment Agency, I was to pre present uh, my country's situation and what I was hoping to achieve. And then the comments around the table was, oh, we were there 20 years, 25 years back. Yeah, because somebody set a foundation. So I made up my mind that, yeah, you were there. We're, we're still in that what you were 20 years back. So I can come back and set the foundation in my own situation and country. And then it will be easy for the people coming to say, oh, we were there some years back. A process, a foundation set and a process can follow. My word of advice to the newcomer West scholars is that they should be the best in whatever they do. They should ensure that they enjoy their time, they learn about the culture, why they also be the best in the academy. And then when they come back, they should strive to impart on the society. I really want to use this opportunity to appreciate the Commonwealth Scholarship Commission for the opportunity given to people like us. I've traveled in different parts of the world. Um, I'm an executive of the African Accounting and Finance Association and so many other associations. I belong to all the association accounting professions the American Accounting Association, British Accounting Association, European Accounting Association. I've traveled to different parts of the world and this award has made it possible and I really want to say thank you.